The Frisco ISD has been growing fast for years and it's apparently not stopping anytime soon. That's going to mean big changes for students in the district. The district will open its seventh high school next year. Well, no district in the state and nation has grown faster on a percentage basis in the past 20 years. So that just kind of gives you an idea of just how fast the growth is. Uh, school starts Monday in the Frisco ISD with a record number of students and the growth continuing. And they've already got plans for a ninth and tenth. I think being the first graduating class at Reedy High School means being an example because people look up to you, you set those standards. Uh, I think opening a new program was different because everybody had a sense of urgency and excitement about it. You know this is unique in that you know when we showed up here it's just a blank slate. Well, the cool thing about DECA is you pretty much are given a situation. You're supposed to figure out how you can fix that situation. It's like a mock interview, and after you do your interview, then they grade you if you solved the problem and hit the principles and talked about the principles. There was 40 people, about 44, give or take. So only 11 people made it to um, state from our event. And then my name was called, so I went out to the stage, and. My teacher was really proud, she took a photo. And the first person I told was my mom. And she like sent me a bunch of emojis and exclamation points. My first year at DECA was awesome because I'm a sophomore. And my brother was a senior whenever he did DECA. He made it to state, and but he only got to experience that one year. I'll get to experience that, hopefully, the rest of my high school career. You can be a brand new program and you can still succeed just because you're new doesn't mean you're necessarily the underdog. I could totally impact everyone that comes to Reedy High School, but at the same time it's like, wow, I'm the first graduating class. I can make a difference and make a change. The Winter Guard program um, is mostly freshmen, first of all. So there's only two sophomores, me and Danny. Most programs, they'll have the seniors and the juniors who are experienced and they like, teach and they kind of lead the group, but we didn't have that here. You start off in the lowest class and we managed to bump up two classes, which doesn't normally happen for a new school. So we started off our very first competition, we placed first. Um, we were counting down and they were like fourth place, third place, and then second place. And then the people that were standing next to us turned to us and they're like, you just got first place. I think really that the fact that we were a new school kind of like, yeah, did make it a lot sweeter. Well, because we're the first graduating class, we can kind of put those customs and traditions in place that'll be carried on for however long this school is around. And it's kind of, I like, it kind of makes you feel important. Well, it's a great team. I mean, we have a great coach and it's just, it's been a great experience. We've excelled past what we thought we could this year and we've, I can, I'm pretty sure everybody's met their goals and it's just, it's been a great experience. I mean, we practiced completely to our, to the fullest in every single practice and we really worked towards, that was our goal, was we wanted to make it to state and that was, we knew that it was a pretty huge goal, but in the end, hard work paid off and we got it. Everybody, every tennis player especially knows you're not going to make every single shot. You're not going to get everything that you want. I mean, you play certain tournaments that are state tournaments and those, you're not going to win all of them. And sometimes it's very difficult even just to do well in any of them. And so we knew that this was something that was just, it was very surreal and it's something that's going to stick with us. I think that it's just, I think it's very important that we started it off that way and started Reedy off as a very, with a very high standard and to compete with the other Frisco schools for sure. That'll make all the hard work pay off and that's what'll get us to surpass some of these good schools. Well, the Sapphires is like a very good experience because we're all so close because we all work together and, you know, perform for others to make other people smile. So, you know, you're starting new traditions already and being able to like win the first time in the first year. It was actually a really big surprise and it was, it was a good surprise because we worked so hard. You know, when we won, it was just like such a shock because it's our first year being together. And when we were dancing, it just felt great because like we had an audience there. All our parents were there, like 
to like lead us on. And at first I was nervous because like they paused before they said it. And when they said it, everyone would just started cheering and yelling. And Miss Platt just had like a great big grin on her face. Um, we're really close now. Like in the beginning we were close, but now that we're like all around each other, you know, we have experienced so many things together. We're like sisters basically. You have 30 people you can go to and talk to whenever you're having a bad day. We kind of need to start new traditions and, you know, make a mark on Reedy because I mean, we're the first class to graduate. So we should really like make a foundation for like the next people to come in to read. So HOSA has a series of competitions in a variety of subjects. It could be um, like written testing about say medical terminology or even presenting a project such as health career display or creative problem solving. So depending on the, I guess, topic or project that you do or test, um, some of them you have to get top five, some are top 10%, some are top three to move on. With Reedy being, I guess, a new school, I was really proud to kind of be that first upperclassman class at Reedy to move on into regionals and actually work on all these competitions. I'd say the most memorable thing is actually presenting and making the project because it was very time consuming. But I can remember right after we actually finished it, just looking at it and realizing this is what we've done. This is what we've learned from it. With HOSA, there's so much that goes on with the details and the factors and the research that goes into it. I was really like passionate on being, I guess, that first example for people to look at to how the time and effort that I put into my competition and how I could take all the work that I've done put it into a competition. And even though maybe I haven't done as well as I wanted to, there's always room for improvement, like I said. But I'd say setting that example has been a really big part. We're being the first people to actually get those medal and bring it back to Reedy to showcase. And when people look back and be like, oh, in 2016, we went to state for DECA, HOSA, tennis, you name it. They can be like, wow, we really accomplished something that year. And that'd make the future years want to do that too.